now today is wednesday and it's 6 59 and i just got to work and i decided to record the video early in the morning today because i want to record the video when i'm thinking about it and i woke up thinking about it and i said i'm not gonna wait until i'm done working so i will just go and walk in the vi not work i will record it in the morning and then i will edit it on my break and then once I will get off, so I'll record the other one for like the day after. So that I always have one video just in case uh, something I'm not, I might not be in the mood or because I had something and I just lack up something. So I know I said something a lot, but that's just what I use in order to kind of get to the point and show you guys what I'm talking about and maybe what I want to say. So today we're gonna be talking about sleep or how sleep is important as a pre-med. Um, before I start everything, I just wanted to tell you guys, like I always said, that um, the thing that I'm gonna be talking about or the thing that I talk about or stuff that I went through personally. So it's not supposed to be like the general thing that will work for everybody. If you try and it didn't work for you, um, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. I'm tripping so it's not intended to work for you if you try it and it works for you well okay cool happy everybody's happy but if it doesn't don't try like to kill yourself over it or maybe don't overthink about it because it's not like this one thing that everybody has to do or this one thing that um everybody should know in order to get to point a to point b so it's not what it is so it's just me um telling my own experience and maybe you guys will get something out of it maybe you won't but either way, I just wanted to share it because I feel good when I'm doing it and I like having it out. I like having an audience and so that's why I'm doing it. So today we're going to be talking about sleep or how sleep is important to me. So first of all, um, I don't really apply everything that I'm going to be telling you guys and I feel guilty about it because the thing is... I get so anxious sometimes and I do overthink a lot sometimes and when I do the only thing that I kind of like use to get out of this stage is studying more too. I know yesterday I talked about other stuff that I do when I'm anxious but studying is also one thing that I do when I'm anxious as well. So if I'm anxious about something like an exam I know there's like stuff that are up to me so how much I know about the subject is up to me and I think that the more I know the better I will perform on with whatever it is when it comes to um the top a topic that I have to study for an exam so I will just ended up studying for the whole nine or studying for really long hours because I just tell myself the more you know the better it's gonna be for you so it does play on how much how much um sleep hours and maybe how much time that I have to sleep on a weekly basis but i'm trying not to do that right now and have a dedicated time to sleep and also study and do stuff that i really want to do so i really don't know how long it's gonna stay or if i'm gonna be tired of it of course and change it but um right now i feel pretty good so the thing that i do is as soon as i get off drive home once i'll be home have like a 10 maybe 15 minutes break and just close everything afterwards and go to bed. So I will have at least five or six hours. What's happening with the phone? So I will have at least five five or six hours once I will be back home to sleep. And then once I wake up, so I will go take a bath, eat something, and go study till it's time for me to go to work. So this like model actually worked for me, but I used to do it and one day I just stopped, but right now I'm back at it. So it does work for me because um, I do get the amount of sleep that, I do get some sleep, not the amount, of, the amount of sleep, that's the specific amount of sleep that I need to have. Because when it comes to sleeping, and I think that your body will take as much as you give it. So if you give it like six hours, it will take six hours, and after six hours, you'll feel comfortable. Maybe if you give it seven hours, it will take seven hours, and we go on so um i think your body take as much as you give it and the uh, amount of hours that i do get my body i do give my body five six seven but not more than that i might give more than that if i decide to take a day off 
from studying and stuff but i will not give you more than that so i usually feel great after five hours but i'm trying to push it till six hours at least you know and be in this gray margin because i think the study says seven or eight so i'm just trying like to make it as close as possible but i do not feel any difference um whether or not i decide to sleep for six hours or seven hours or eight hours so it's pretty much the same thing after like five hours i'll feel great and i'll feel that i can go on my stuff and get st stuff done so yeah it takes as much as to give it the thing that i'm doing differently right now like i said is once I'll get up, just go and sleep. And then I'll wake up around around like 11 or 12, but mostly 11. So it's like not six hours exactly, but five hours something. And then I'll just eat, maybe walk around a little bit, watch some shows and go study. But yeah, why did I say but yeah? So yeah, this is what I do and that's what is working for me. <laughs> And I really wanted to emphasize you sleeping because as a prima day is something that we tend to sacrifice a lot because some of us will see it as a waste of time. I used to see sleeping as a waste of time before and until I realized that uh, the more sleep that I get, the better I perform and I'll say the more I get from the interaction that I have to do on a daily basis. So that's what makes it kind of important to me so i'm trying to prioritize my sleep and it's a long battle anyways so i think i will just cut this thing right now and i'm gonna go in get my coffee do i really need a coffee that's another thing when i do sleep well i really don't need a coffee so i don't think that i'm gonna get coffee today because i slept for like more than seven hours yesterday so right now i'm totally fine and i just can't wait to start working I have 52 patients today, patients today, and I can't wait to see how well I will perform. But I know that I'm going to do a good job because I had a good amount of sleep. I ate and I'm ready to start working right now. So I'm just going to be putting my glasses and get out the car right now. So I will see you guys later for another subject or maybe another topic. And on my break, I will just um, work on this video and post it on YouTube um, tomorrow morning. So that was pretty much it. And if you're watching this right now, um, the video that I did yesterday is out. Please go and check it out. Thank you.